The stages of grief are real. You've heard these before, right? There's the initial shock that an event occurred, denial. There's the anger that comes where we feel powerless or helpless to do anything about it. There's the depression or the sadness that the loss occurred. There's the bargaining where we try to imagine what could have done to prevent it. And then according to the stages of grief, we had a place of acceptance according to that loss. But what we talked about this past Sunday was, do we ever get to a place where we accept sin in our lives? And that's a big question because we all experience it in our own lives and in other people's lives. And what got me down that path was, are we ever okay with sin? Because we dealt with a very tough passage in Acts 5 at the beginning, the story of Ananias and Sapphira. And we see how our God, who is a jealous God, will never be okay with sin. But it's because of his great love for us, his people, and this church. And we see the extent that God went to rescue us from it. So depending upon where you're at in your journey with Jesus, those stages of grief and they relate to our sin, maybe you're denying that you even have a sin problem. And my friend, if that's you, I encourage you to, to really look into your own heart and your life on that. The Bible says there's no one righteous, not even one. Perhaps you're like me where you have accepted it and you get comfortable with just your sin and you start to realize and you miss the truth of God's great love for you. Maybe you're sad about your sin, but you're sad in a shameful way where you feel like there's something wrong with who you are or in a blaming way where it's someone else's fault and you're wounded. Maybe you're angry about your sin and it's good to be angry about sin, but it's so hard for us to separate anger from people and we start to feel like we're the judge and the jury against other people when we point the finger there. But my friends, as you realize who God is, step into his light, his jealous love for you, and allow your emotions to be shared with him about your sin. Stay tuned with us for this next coming Sunday as we step into the rest of Acts chapter five. If you missed this past Sunday and what we're talking about, I invite you to go listen to the rest of that message from this past Sunday. But as we finish out Acts 5, we'll be talking about there's a new power in town, kind of like an old Western style conversation. I'm excited to see because there's, when a new power shows up, it's bringing a new way to live life. And that's something deep down we all long for. Thanks for watching and we'll hopefully see you soon.